Hello, uh, this question is about uh, Ergen's equation and uh, fluidization. So the question is, a packed bed of a spherical solid particles of density 2500 kg per cubic meter occupies a depth of 1 meter in a vessel of cross-sectional area uh, 0.04 square meter. The mass of solids in the bed is 59 kg and the mean particle diameter is 1 mm. A liquid of density 800 kg per cubic meter and viscosity 2 times 10 to the minus 3 pascal second flows upward through the bed. Assume g is equal to 9.81 m per square second. First part of the question is calculate the porosity of the bed. Second part is calculate the volume flow rate of liquid through the bed in cubic meter per hour when the pressure drop across the bed is 7876 pascal. Third part is calculate the pressure drop across the bed when it becomes fluidized. And the last part of the question is calculate the velocity in millimeter per second that is required to expand the height of the bed by 25% after fluidization, assuming the flow between the particles is laminar. Okay? So, uh, to, to calculate the porosity, you can write the mass of the particle is equal to the particle density times the area, times the height of the packed bed, uh, but you need to multiply it by 1 minus epsilon, because that volume is occupied by the void space and the solid space. Uh, when you multiply this volume by 1 minus epsilon, or porosity, uh, 1 minus porosity, you, can, you consider only the volume of the solid. So if you rearrange this equation, you can write epsilon is equal to 1 minus m divided by rho al. So here you have all the values here, you can plug it here to calculate the porosity, which will be equal to 1 minus 59 divided by 2500 times the area of 0.04 times the height that is 1, which will be equal to 0.41 or 41%. So that's the porosity. The second part of the question is about calculate the volume flow rate of liquid through the bed uh, when the pressure drop across the bed is this. So for that, you need to write the Ergen's equation. So if you write the Ergen's equation, delta P over L will be equal to 180 times mu uh, divided by dP squared times 1 minus epsilon with the power of 2 divided by epsilon with the power of 3 times Q plus 7 divided by 4 times density rho F uh, Q squared divided by dp times 1 minus epsilon divided by epsilon 3. So you have here all the parameters except q, which is the question. So you just need to plug the values here to calculate q. And if you do that, that will be 78, 76 divided by 1 will be equal to 180 times mu, that is 0 0.002 divided by dp with the power of 2, that is 0 0.001 with the power of 2, times 1 minus epsilon, that is 40, 0.41, with the power of 2 here, divided by epsilon with the power of 3, times q, which is unknown, plus 7 divided by 4, times the density here, 800, times uh, divided by dp, that is uh, 0 0.001, times 1 minus epsilon again, 41, divided by 0.41 with the power of 3 times Q2, okay, times Q2. And so here, if you read, this is basically one equation, one unknown, you can simply calculate the value of Q. So here, if you do the calculation, you will get 1198.4736 times Q2 plus 181856 times q minus 7876 is equal to 0. And you can simply solve this equation and you get the value of q as uh, 4.21 times 10 to the minus 3 meter per second. Okay? But here you have to pay attention, the question was cubic meter per hour, but this is meter per second. And uh, to get the flow rate in cubic meter per hour, you can simply write the capital Q is equal to Q times A, which will be equal to 4.21 times 10 to the minus 3 times area, which is uh, 0 0.04, which will be equal to 1.684 times 
10 to the minus 4 cubic meter per second. But the question is cubic meter per hour, so you need to multiply this by 3600 to convert second to hour, and that will be equal. And if you do that, the result will be equal to 0 0.6062 cubic meter per hour. Okay? The third part of this question was the calculate the pressure drop across the bed when it becomes fluidized. So you have an equation to calculate the pressure drop at the fluidization condition and that equation is delta P equal to LMF okay, times 1 minus epsilon MF times rho S minus rho F times G. Again, you have all the parameters here. You plug it here and then you, can, then you can calculate delta P, which will be equal to 1 times uh, 1 minus 0 0.41 times 2500, that is rho S minus 800, that is rho F times G, which will be equal to 9839.43 Pascal. Okay? That's the third part of the question. And the last part of the question is calculate the velocity that is required to expand the height of the bed by 25% after fluidization, assuming the flow between the particles is laminar. Okay, since density of the, assuming density of the particles are constant, the volume of the particles uh, after fluidization remains constant. That's conservation of mass. So basically you can write uh, the initial height times area times 1 minus epsilon 1, that is the initial porosity. So L1 times A is the volume, you multiply by 1 minus epsilon to get the volume of the solid at the stage 1. This should be equal to the final height times area times 1 minus epsilon 2. And area is out here, therefore you can write L2 divided by L1, it will be equal to 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by 1 minus epsilon 2. Okay, and that is equal to 1.25 because the height of the bed, to expand the height of the bed by 25%, that means L2 divided by L1 will be 1.25. And you have the value of epsilon 1, you calculate it in the first section of the question, you have the 1.25, therefore from this equation you can calculate the porosity, which will be epsilon 2 uh, equal to 0.528. So you have the porosity now, and and uh, the question is, calculate the velocity millimeter per second that is required to expand the bed. And here it says, assume the flow between the particles is laminar. Under the laminar flow condition, you can write the velocity, uh, Q is equal to dP with the power of 2 times rho S minus rho F times G divided by 180 times mu times epsilon with the power of 3 divided by 1 minus epsilon. Okay, so here you have all the parameters. You have the epsilon, you have rho s, rho f, g, mu, d. You can simply calculate the q, which will be equal to uh, d, that is 0, uh, 0.001 with the power of 2, times rho s minus rho f, okay, times g, divided by 180, times mu, that is 0 0.002, times porosity that you just calculated, 5 to 8, with the power of 3 divided by 1 minus uh, 0.528. And here, if you do the calculation, you get the Q equal to 14 times 4, 4, 7 times 10 to the minus 3 meter per second. The question is in millimeter per second, that means you need to multiply that by 1000, therefore this will be equal to 14. 447 millimeter per second. And that is the solution to this question.